Right. So now you guys are there. You found a place to stay. You got a job. What happens next after that? Next thing what happened, you pick up your life, your pieces of your life, what kind of life you have. Uh, I have to tell you that in Croatia, also you're a refugee. Okay. So it's very hard to pick the... Uh, nobody hiring. Uh, you don't have documents. You just register there. And you don't know the worst in your country. And you register. So the worst stop, wherever... Uh, co- uh, and happen, you have to go back. That's the, the rules. That's yes. why uh, Croatia helped Bosnia to take a refugee mm. just for helping uh, them to be there and to save them. Yes. Uh, so m- regarding my life, what I did, I read the newspaper and the say uh, American embassy was hiring uh. and... Uh, I went on interview, which was, I was refugee Bosnian, and the old, it was Croatian girls, so <laughs> I said, I don't have a chance, mm. right. and um, language barrier and stuff, but we all who was an interview and doesn't speak any French or English or anything, so that end up choosing me to... Wow. work there because I think they feel sorry I was refugee and I told them my life I have a one child and I was pregnant with the second and uh, and then to say um, when they called me that I was hired um, I was just on the on the top on the world mm-hmm. that's awesome because I was the only one Bosnian working there. That's awesome. So now you're working in the American, you said the American embassy? No, French. The French embassy. Okay, so so I'm sorry about that. So you're working in the French embassy. Uh, you got hired, the only Bosnian girl in there. And it it's crazy to think, like, you're right. Like, you were a refugee. Like, nobody, there's no history of you, there's no record. It's a new country, new language, like, new everything, basically. Right. And you're now coming from probably one of the worst experiences that that anybody can go through but now there's there's a light there's a ray of hope like right. now the wheels the clouds are starting to go away and now the sun's coming in and so how, how long did you work at the french embassy for i was for like i say i was fine now that i was pregnant with my aunt and i have my second child wow. and i took <laughs> how old were you then i was 24 so 24 right okay just got pregnant with your second child. Just got a great opportunity. And, and, and so how long did you work there? I worked there to the day I flew in America. <laughs> so a couple years. And how did that process happen? How did, I, you, how did you get the opportunity to come to the United I States? Got, um, I was having my second child. And then I stay home mom for the payment to uh, mature leave. And I go back and work on to Friday and flew on Monday to United States. You just got a ticket so, and flew. And just because the how end up when the comes to the when I have a second child, I work for uh, with the French people and there was the one that inspired me about different life and I was like looking back when the, my refugee ends, I have to go back home. Okay. I have to go. I don't have a home. Yeah. I don't have a... Bosnia doesn't know where to pick the pieces. Yeah. So I say, uh, I saved that paper that I told you that I was registered yeah. in convention mm-hmm. camp. So I say um, to somebody in American embassy, I still have this paper and if... Uh, America still accept the refugee, and he was like, "Oh yeah, the interview," and uh, you know, you find out, you go, you ask. Then I find out that was um, officers ref- um, from America coming and interviewing refugee, still open the door to whoever welcome. But you have to really have the story Mm -hmm. you have to really tell the truth Mm -hmm. if you've been in the war or you've been in the convention camp or what exactly because they know everything yeah they know exactly the every part of the town every part of the city what's exactly happened and when oh wow so i have to memorize my 1992 you had to relive experience. it all over again. Yeah, mm-hmm. and show them the paper, and they give me application. I apply. They get 
They say you will come to interview. So I was with the officer, American officer, interviewed for, let's go say for an hour. And they go everything. So I have, like I say, wrote the notes and revived my whole thing. And uh, on the end of my interview, she said, congratulations, you made it. You uh, Welcome to United States. That and uh, awesome. that was it. So it was a lot of families that time that was there not make it. So only that time, six family made it. Wow. The pass. That because, is amazing. Like I say, if they capture you, then you're not welcome. Wow. Mm -hmm. I want to I wanna go back real quick when you felt like you were on top of the world. Um, during that time, did you have like any goals that you wrote down? What are you going to do next? Or you were just like basically hoping like for an opportunity, next opportunity to jump into? Not really um, that I have uh, any goal. In my mind was just, I just want to, even it was too far, United States, when I told my mom, mm. I remember I, I told her that I'm applying and she broke and cried and she said, did you know this is the other side of the world? And yeah. I said, I know, but yes. there's no other option for me to stay here mm. is the okay but i want a future for my two children and i want a better future for them even it's across the ocean yeah. but that time it was the term for me i just want to go you just want to leave croatia wanna, yeah. i just want to leave and i just want to because i know i don't have other choice either leave croatia mm -hmm. and go to united states or um or go back and to bosnia feel the mercy whatever mm -hmm. happened 